Hi, Greg Hughes here with 90 Second Website Builder. I'd like to talk to you now about navigation. Now, the concept of navigation on your website is pretty simple. It just means making a way for people who come to your website to click on something and go to another page on your website or even to another website altogether. Navigation is simple to work with and it's pretty easy to implement. And in fact, in 90 Second Website Builder, we have a whole set of navigation tools to make it even easier for you. Now, technically, you don't really have to use a navigation tool to create navigation because, like I said, all navigation is is it's just a link so you could do that with a piece of text or you could do that with an image of course navigation is important to implement though because when people come to your website they'll of course land on your index page or your home or default page and they'll need to know how to get around your website but let's talk about the navigation tools that are built into 90 second website builder and see what they do all of these do very different things and yet basically they're all a type of navigation before we do that we need to do a little quick review review on the topic of page properties and I'll tell you why in a minute when you right click on a page and here you see I have just a blank canvas open so this page which I've called demo has nothing on it but I'm gonna right click on it and go to page properties just as a refresher course for you to remember that the page properties has several settings one uh, there's the title of a page and in this case I haven't titled it yet so I wouldn't want to leave this untitled page sometimes your navigation will actually utilize the information that's inside page properties you'll notice aside from the title of a page there's also something here called a menu name now a menu name is something completely different from the title which is something completely different from the file name of this page which you see here in the um, site manager in fact the file name happens to be called demo so when we create a link we're gonna be linking to this but the menu name is something completely different in fact I'm gonna change this just to show you I'm gonna put a capital D here to make the distinction between the menu name and the file name I'm just telling you that to set you up for when we get to that part of navigation we'll start with the CSS menu I'll spend a little more time with this one and then we'll do kind of an overview on the rest but the CSS menu will give us a good overview on how all navigation works it's actually one of my favorite tools because it's a very simple tool to edit any of the navigation tools just like you would imagine you simply double click on it and that brings up its menu properties so here I have the CSS menu properties window and you can see that it gives me the four starting buttons I don't have to use four buttons I can of course delete these add to them and I'm gonna be editing the, editing them of course it just starts you with four to get you going so let's talk about editing these notice of course they're called button one two three and four I'll be changing that I'm gonna to go to the button one and click edit and here you can see I can decide what text shows up in the actual button itself so I don't want it to say button one I might want this to say home now that's what will be seen in the menu that's not necessarily the file I'm linking to the file I'm gonna to link to is a file called index.html which I'll do here so here's what my buttons gonna look like and here's where I'm gonna link it to a page in this project which I will select as index and I'll say okay okay again now what we have is a menu item let me click OK so we can look at it on the canvas now we have a menu item that says home but links to a file called index now I'm gonna show you a little trick if I double click instead of going through all of these buttons let's say I had oh I don't know 10 or 12 pages I wanted to do this instead of having to to go through all this and make all these links myself there is a quick little trick and it's called synchronize with the site manager now what's that mean what that means is the software will in one fell swoop by clicking this button connect all of my menu items to the corresponding pages in my site manager here's how it does it I just click synchronize with site manager click OK and you can see what it did it actually created the buttons that match my site manager remember there were four buttons but I have one two three four five six pages so it created six buttons and it also named them now this is very interesting if you are really astute and you're paying close attention you'll notice that it gave them interesting names it gave this button the name index I don't really like that I want that to be called home we'll talk about that in a minute it gave this button a name called hosting something but the buttons not big enough to hold it it actually says hosting plans even though the name of the file it linked to is plans you may be asking yourself how did it know to call it hosting plans this one it called support with a capital S which makes sense because the file name is support but how did the software know to capitalize that S and what about this one it links to a file called about but it called it about us with capital letters software must be pretty smart right 
Well, let me tell you how that happened. First of all, let's double click on this and look and see what's going on. When I click the Synchronize with Site Manager, it did just what you thought it did. It went ahead and found all these files and created a menu for them. But because I've synchronized, I can no longer edit these, which may be a problem because I don't like the way that one says index. I'd rather have that say home. Not to worry. All I have to do is uncheck this, and now I can go through and fix anything I don't like. So for example, I don't like that saying index. So I'm going to edit that and change that to the word home. Now, why did the software decide to call this one index? Why did it decide to call this one hosting plans when the name of the file itself is actually plans? Well, I'm going to show you. What it did was it picked up what we call the menu name from each of those pages and then linked it to the file name. In other words, when it created this menu for hosting plans, it connected it to the plans.html file in my file structure, but it picked up the name hosting plans from the menu name. Let's open up this page. I'll show you what I mean. Remember what I said? Here's the page plans. In the page properties, Remember that feature under the title called menu name? Well, I had called this hosting plans earlier when I created this web page. I'm still in the design process for this page. I'm not finished with it. For example, I haven't even given it a title yet, but I did happen to give it a menu name. And the software knows that this page, which is called plans.html, has a menu name called hosting plans. And the reason why that's there is because in case they ever want to synchronize like we just did, it'll pick up a sensible name. Okay, now that happens by synchronizing. So synchronizing is kind of a nice shortcut because I didn't have to make all those buttons. It made them for me. And yet, if there's anything I don't like about it, all I have to do is deselect the synchronize and then go back here and start editing. Now, one of the things I didn't like about this is it didn't make my hosting plans button big enough. So I'm going to go into the style area and I can start deciding how wide the buttons should be, the spacing around them, how they fit, etc. And I have a lot of different options and I won't take a lot of time in this video to do that. But basically you can see I can decide on the width and how everything fits and how it looks by changing all of these settings. One of the quick ways to do it is just to take the button size and have it say be variable. That will stretch the button according to the text that's in it. That's just a quick fix. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see all of these buttons are different sizes because they're based on the text that's inside them. That's just one option. I might not want to do that. I might want them to all be wide so that they look the same but still big enough to hold all the text. Well, I'll still have the ability to do that simply by editing the style. And as you do, by the way, you can preview it down here so you can see what it's going to look like. That gives you a good idea about how most of the navigation tools work. Let's quickly go through the rest of them so you can see what they do. Here's the Go menu. The Go menu is kind of a nice tool. You can make it as big as you want. The Go menu basically works like this. You double click on it and you start filling in the items you want to have in this pull down menu. So I might say, I want a text that says home and I want to link this to a page called index and I say, okay, let's add another one. I also might want to add one called, let's say, Google. And I want to link this to an external web address. So when people choose this particular selection in my menu, they'll go to that website. Of course, you can make as many as you want. Let's look at this. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click F5 so we can preview. And you can see that it works like this. All I have to do is pull down and I can go to one of these. If I select the Google one and click go, it takes me to the Google website. Let's go back and let's close the preview. Remember, this doesn't have to be that fat. All of this stuff is editable. So let's put that aside. That's basically a go menu. Here's the mega menu and the mega menu does so much. I mean, it's called mega. So you can imagine that there's a separate video just for this tool. But let me briefly show you what happens when you choose the mega menu. You have the opportunity again to edit all the buttons like you did anything else. So again, we can change the name of it. But there's so many different layouts for the mega menu. You can choose all these different styles and then there's styles here. The way the mega menu works is it's a great way to provide navigation if you have a really complicated uh, set of files. So in other words, you can lay out the navigation in these buttons to be in columns or in a single row like this. Plus, you'll notice that you can have categories of things. So if you have a really complicated, say, a product line or something you wanted to display in your menu, this is a great way to do it and save space. The way it looks right now is based on the page theme. You can adjust the page theme in another area. Again, there's a special video just for this tool because it does so much. The next one is the menu bar, which is very much like the CSS menu that we used up here, only it does a few more things. You double click on it, you can create more of a hierarchy with items and sub items. 
when you click on style, you can pick a predefined style. Like, for example, say I wanted to pick the theme gray style. This is what my menu bar is going to look like. And this is what sub items and sub sub items will look like when I hover over them. And all of this, of course, is editable. Or you can design your own theme, as you can imagine. And that's there's just a lot of settings for you to make your menu to look exactly the way you want it to. And again, this is all editable. Let's look at the next one. The navigation bar seems to be the popular one most people grab when they're first using 90 Second Website Builder for some reason. It's probably because it's the simplest one. It doesn't have as many features though, so it is a quick way to make a menu. It's based on images, as you can see. So it starts you off with four buttons, but they have images behind them. Now when you double click on this, there's several things that you can do. One is you can change the orientation. Right now it's vertical, it's going up and down. If I change it to horizontal, click OK, now I have a horizontal menu. Also, again, it's got that same synchronized thing happening, and you would edit the buttons by either clicking here and going to edit, or again, double clicking on these does the same thing. But here, the style is a little bit different for the navigation bar, what we call the nav bar. And basically, what you can do here is you can decide what you want the images to look like, whether it's in the normal state or the hover state, that it will be affected by this. You can also use the preview down here to see what it's going to look like. You can also uh, animate these movements right here. There's several animations to choose from, how long that runs. The navigation bar is really easy to work with. So, And by the way, like the Mega Menu, you can use the Pages jQuery theme if you want to so just use the basic built-in theme. That way it matches everything else on your page. Let's move on really quick so we don't make too long of a video here for you to watch. But the site tree is uh, something that you probably won't use as often. But it might be a page you would have if you had a really, really large website that you have just kind of as a, um, a site map of sorts where people can quickly bounce around from page to page. And all it does is it puts your pages in alphabetical order, again, based on the menu name of each page. Remember, the menu name was called About Us, Contact Us. And so let's just put them in alphabetical order. And it's kind of made sort of this Rolodex style, if you remember what Rolodexes were. It's kind of a Rolodex style of your website. Since I only have a few pages, it looks pretty sparse. But you can see if I had 30 or 40 or 50 pages, it might be kind of a handy way. Let me delete that and get it out of the way. Let's look at the next one. Slide menu is kind of a fancy uh, animation menu, but basically when we double click on it, we can edit the folders, which are just category names. And then these would be our items or our links. If I click on item one and go to edit, I basically can select that link. And the look of it is set here in the styles. You have full control over all of the colors and backgrounds for the slide menu. Let me uh, show you what that looks like, by the way. I'm gonna F5. It kind of does a little bit of an animation. When you click on these, you can collapse these categories. These, of course, are links, but these are categories. I'm going to close the preview, move this up out of the way, and let's look at another one here. This is called the tab menu. This is another one that I like because uh, it just looks good, in my opinion. It sort of gives these little file folder tabs. I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. Sometimes I put it up in the top of my page just because I like the look of those little tabs. But you can control what they look like, again, by double-clicking on it. Here's where you set the links. It has the synchronization feature. Also, you can set the style like you would anything else. It's a great little navigation tool, easy to use. Click OK, and let's look at one more. This one's called the text menu. This is about as simple as it gets. This is almost the same as you just taking text objects and turning them into links, except it does it for you in kind of a fast way. Start you off with four links. If you double click on it, you can see there's the four. If you use the synchronize feature, which I'll do again, I'll click right there, click OK, and you can see it basically made all of my links for me. My index page apparently has a bad menu name because it keeps picking up the word index, so I could fix that by going there and changing that. Let me see. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to index, go to my page properties. Yep, see there's my menu name. That should say home so that when I do synchronizing, it'll have a better looking button. Let's go back and do that. Go back to the demo here. There it is. Actually, it already picked it up. I didn't have to do anything because it's currently synchronized. This is picking up menu name from each page. And of course, double clicking on it. I could always edit it if I want to. I'd have to deselect this. And then I could go here and make any changes or remove any pages I didn't want in my navigation, etc. So that's pretty much how that works. Again, this one can also go vertically or horizontally. Very, very fast way to make navigation. Be sure to experiment with these and dig in, and you'll find that you can make them look exactly the way you want them to look. So everything looks just right as you're building your website with 90 Second Website Builder.